as a second topic for this session now we see the two important components of working capital that is current assets and current liabilities now current assets are short term in nature when we talk about short term in nature means maximum one year what are current liabilities in, in short maximum one year and these current liabilities are made from current assets remember the balance sheet of a company which you saw in accounting in the previous semesters so what are current assets cash in hand cash in bank closing stock bills receivable sundry debtors short term loans peak with expenses accrued income similarly what are current liabilities liabilities which are short term in nature like sundry creditors bills payable outstanding expenses short term loans and advances any provisions which you make which are short term in nature bank overdraft these all are your current assets and current liabilities and in working capital our focus is only on this focusing on current assets and current liabilities and see how our current liabilities are made from current assets now there are various types of working capital for a company the company the company can have a permanent working capital it can have a temporary working capital or it can have a semi variable working capital permanent working capital is a minimum amount of funds which the company should have at all the time means minimum is a is a minimum requirement which should have for example any calamity happens tomorrow any emergency happens tomorrow in your business your company should be in a stage to meet them up that is permanent working capital similarly we have a temporary working capital temporary working capital arises because of a seasonal changes or a special exigency or special requirement happened in a business that's why temporary working capital is of two types so we have a seasonal and we have special for example seasonal demand of products or gives a seasonal products which are there now this, for example if a manufacturer is for example i'm into mango drink business right i know mangoes are only there for 2 3 months with a production happens but if you see you still get mango drinks throughout 12 months it means remaining months what do i need to have i need to still have a continuous supply in the market as such right it means that because the seasonal demand i need to make some extra emergency extra provision for it right that is your temporary working capital this is seasonal working capital because seasonal changes which happen in your product similarly the special working capital as well special working capital is what it fluctuates again because you want you come in the marketing campaign you want to launch your product and it's because of certain short term changes in the market you actually need to pump in more money in the business this is special for example any marketing campaign you launching a new product this is when special temporary working capital is required we also have semi variable working capital with some component is fixed and other is variable minimum you need to meet and other depends upon the fluctuation in the type of requirement example of semi variable expense is very common we give you is like a telephone bill which you pay if you have a postpaid telephone connection monthly rent you have to pay and the remaining depends upon the usage how you use so fixed part is what the monthly rent which you need to pay irrespective of use your phone also or not but variable is how much you use after that right similarly so see from a company point of view they also have a temporary requirement they have a permanent requirement and they have a semi variable working capital requirement